Hello everyone, Ado here. And so you are. And we're back. A Gundam tale. We're still making our way through Wavering Ravine in order to find out if this is truly the secret hideout of Mr. K or not. Yeah, you know, I keep trying to think, like, I'm going to come up with an uh, accent for uh, Lee Fang. It's like uh, Harley Quinn, because mm -hmm. Mr. J and Mr. K. Mm -hmm. But then, like, I keep thinking it sounds way too, like, stereotypically Chinese or something, because I'm just terrible at it. But everyone loves stereotypes. I like stereos, and I like to, I'm pretty good at typing. Mm hmm. Hmm. You, 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 yeah, I know all of you. <laughs> I mean, I myself love stereotypes. I like accents. Accents add character. In particular, I like the French accent. Meta. Mostly on women. I don't care much for uh, no, accent. male French accents. Are you kidding me? Look at the guy from, from, uh, from the Little Mermaid, the, the chef guy, where he sang his little song about murdering the fish. I love that scene. That made me hungry for fish. <laughs> Some people apparently were horrified at that. I'm like, I'm just hungry. <laughs> it just kind of reminded me of that movie, Super Size Me. It just made me hungry when I saw it. Mm. It had no effect on disgusting me from McDonald's at all. Which I believe was the point. <laughs> oh, that Super Size Me. For some reason, I was thinking of that movie, uh, Spaghetti with Meatballs. Oh, and, uh, and CGN. And, yeah, Five Kids with Meatballs. That that uh, like you know five minute book that they turned into like what a 45 minute movie mm -hmm. yeah basically <laughs> never seen it kind of piques my interest to see it yeah i never saw two i saw number one there's a sequel yeah there's a two yeah they turned a five minute book with a sequel <laughs> <laughs> what if there are books like that there's like yo know, with a man chance of meatballs two like on the book usually they just like with mm. harry potter they just give it another subtitle Hmm. You know, there's just one that says two. Which way do I go? I uh, you go northward. Yeah. Right, because you went down there and you already got the chest that was down there. And oh, now you're no. going along this path of the mountain because you already yes. checked out the eastern side of the mountain. Right. <laughs> oh, hey, Diamond. Yeah, but not right now. <laughs> uh. Right. If you go to that diamond, I believe that will lead you to story progression. So. Oh, no. Go around the diamond and go like to the left. Uh, to uh, pick up treasure chests, items, and things like that. Yee. Battle Jeez. the enemies for the experience. Oh, mountain. Hmm. Spooky, I hate heights. <laughs> you ever flown? No. Well, actually, I have, but I was very young, and the only thing I can remember about it is me sitting in the chairs. And not feeling like I left at all. Just like I went into like an uh, airplane place, sat in a chair for a few minutes, got up, and like we were already where we went. Fair enough. Like that's how long ago and young I was. I didn't like it when I flew. I already hated heights. Mm. And I flew to Florida to Disney World. <laughs> to Disney World. Disney World. Hmm. It was great. I liked it. I didn't like the flying. <laughs> Did like the Disney World. No oh, way. Doesn't Disney World have like a lot of rides that go very high and stuff? Yeah, I didn't do. I didn't ride none of them. <laughs> ah. Jeez, we are stunned. <laughs> well, luckily, stun only lasts for like one round. Unfortunately, if they get to go first, then that means that you don't get to do your attacks for that round if they manage to stun you. Right. Yeah, the only one I went on was like called uh, the Rock and Roller Coaster featuring Aerosmith. Uh huh. Which was like this. Uh, I don't know. My eyes were like closed most of the way through it, but like I've seen like videos of it. Uh huh. And like it seems to be like this roller coaster that goes through like this really cool like it looks like holograms almost like of like rock and roll stuff, and like, uh, the whole time Aerosmith is just like blaring, and like, it goes from like 0 to 60 in like, a second or two. Uh -huh. It goes fast. It accelerates. That's its main thing, is it goes really fast. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> For some reason, in my head, I was just imagining the ride, like, uh, it, 
Uh, you've probably seen these rides before, but it's more or less like an elevator. You sit in it and it just goes really, really high, like up a mountain, like uh, yeah, really, really high to a point, and then it just immediately like drops you down oh, I've been into in one of like a slide. I can't but for some reason, I was just imagining. But it's Disney; they gotta go more fancy with it. <laughs> oh yeah, these. Yeah, monster. Hmm. Yeah, like wow, that. you didn't even heal your party members before going into. Oh that. my God, I'm gonna die. You might want to switch out Oh No with somebody. That's a good point. I really should switch. Hey, uh, Aeon, I needed you in here anyway to scan that uh, launcher over there. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah, I was thinking, you know, this is Disney. You gotta get more fancy with it. So for some reason, I was imagining, like, I don't really know who Aerosmith is right now. Uh -huh. So I was just imagining, like, a 3D, like, virtual reality, uh, Vocaloid style band. Just, like, as you're going up the elevator, like, on the other side of the elevator, you see this band just go, like, it's the final countdown. Okay. Just, like, playing that as, like, you get higher and higher up to the point. And then, like, you know, once the music stops, that's when, like, when the final countdown is reached and it just drops you. God, I would hate that, but that sounds cool. <laughs> I mean, I would hate that, but it sounds cool. That's what I just said earlier, and I'll say it again. <laughs> but I'm not gonna lie. God, yeah, that sounds awful, though. <laughs> sounds like that'd be rather intense. Yeah, I bet it would be. I mean, such a build up. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Jesus, this is horrible. Uh, you there. You're going down. I bet he's going to charge up for something amazing. I can see this. Bakunetsu kid! Uh, that didn't work out. I knew you were charging, you easily readable piece of crap. Oh god, this isn't turning out good. <laughs> oh, oh, we're all going to die. <laughs> oh, we all did. Good, uh, either heal Tremmy or switch her out with someone. Oh, I'm switching her out. Mm -hmm. Which stinks because she was doing so good. Ain't no time to heal right now. Wait, huh. crap, I didn't mean to do that. I even thought it was her turn already. Switch back. Huh, doesn't uh, one of your other party members have like a boost all skills? No. Oh, so it's just uh, Tremmy with her speed all? Oh, some shells. Wait, what are you about to use? Spray launcher. Wait, you can only have shot burst and Giga Flame. You could use either of those, and I don't know what kind of gun you have on you. A spray launcher. Uh, it says right there, that's his range. Is that weapon. bullet or shell? Would uh, chaff field stop it? Let's see. The way it says spray makes me think beam, but the way it says launcher makes me think not beam. Right. Oh, it's a 50-50 chance. Yeah, you, what about everybody else here? They're going to use boost attack anyway. They all have nothing but... Oh, no, wait a second. Uh, okay, the missile shield is definitely shell based, and that's their only ranged attack they have. But uh, these boosting. guys, they're mainly going to focus on melee. Yeah, well, they're going to use boost attack because they're all boosting right now. Oh well, you I could have, have someone use. Oh, uh, you don't have someone with enough energy to use counter zone. Hmm. They're too strong. This is horrible. Well, you could oh, always oh, switch uh, Tremmy and Life Fang out and just have them defend. They just have everybody defend this round. Nah. I'm gonna try and take one of them out. Oh, dear God, that was a bad idea. We're all going to... Mm. Oh, that's not good. It was on Lee Fang, though. At least she's blocking. <coughs> oh, wow. She's dead anyway. Nice. Bye. Gavenger, it's all up to you. Not yeah. using power charge. This? Wow. I got owned here pretty bad. I got owned here pretty bad. That was, well, my first on screen death. Mm. To these guys. Thanks for telling me to go this way. <laughs> I appreciate it. Hmm. What was I talking about? Didn't you? <laughs> yeah, didn't you? It's about didn't you? I should have healed. But <laughs> didn't you? Didn't you? Uh, about the Magical Kingdom. Yeah, they uh, they had rides that go up really high like that. I've been on one, but not at Disney World. I was at Six Flags, hmm. and I hated that. I was like, what, much younger? I was like 14, 15. I went with my dad. Hmm. It's been a while, but like that was one of my latest memories with my dad, I think. And not a good one. 
I hated that! That is the worst ride ever! And I had to open my eyes when we got to the top! Oh, I just had to! Because I had to know when we were going to die! <laughs> I mean, we didn't die, but still. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hated it. But, Disney World was cool, but you like, ran a hotel and stuff, and like, uh... Like, I think that was the first time I tried Meatball Marinara subs. Huh. Was there. They were really good. Had a pool out there. Near well, the hotel. Well, my impression of Disney World is that it is essentially the size of a city. Probably. So, I guess it would it kind of make sense that they have hotels and stuff. That people they have like five hotels. Five themed hotels, I think. Mm. Ours was musical themed. Yeah, what are the other ones? I forget! I didn't pay much attention after we got to the one we went to. You know? <laughs> oh, jeez. That's not good. Uh, can I fix this? Uh, who do you want to fix? Me. Let's Wait, see. will it go away after the battle? Yeah. Whatever, then. You could always switch them out. That way you can have someone actually do something. He'll be dead soon enough. Oh, you're just going to trust that? Yes. Like how you trusted that you were gonna kill one of those enemies before they were able to do Yes! <laughs> Just like that. Mm -mm. I make mistakes, but I, I'm, I'm also awesome. Mm. We're not letting that happen again. <laughs> we healing up this time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Either way, like, uh... There's some good rides up there, but like, uh... Yeah. There was also some uh, games in an arcade. That was pretty fun. They have an arcade up there? In my in our uh, hotel, they did. But, but you're in the Magical Kingdom, where, like, buildings are literally rides. Why would they have an arcade? Man, you go to, like, one of them, they have, like, a five-story arcade, like, area. Because the Magical Kingdom is about rides? No, it's not. It's about a lot of things. It Oh, I guess there's also parades. Do you know there's like five different like theme parks? In Disneyland. Disney World. Disney World. Yeah. The five? Yeah, there's Epcot, which is all about science and technology, at least that was the idea. <laughs> it didn't go down as much as they hoped it would, I think. There's the Animal Kingdom, which is all about like animals, safaris and stuff. Mm -hmm. There's the Magical Kingdom, which is the one kind of has that big castle and stuff that you always see in the openings of like uh, Disney movies. Mm -hmm. This look like the people I fought earlier. Mm -hmm. Is it randomized? Or did I just go into a random battle right before I touched it? Uh, no, uh, this is like the yellow diamond that you face before you fight the red diamond. Are you sure this is not the story? I'm pretty sure. I think that if you go down that other path, like, you'll get a conversation between your party members, and that's usually, like, the indication that, that you're doing fully progress. Uh -huh. mm. Yep. It was thanks to that conversation that, you know, ever since the beginning when you started this series, you're all about, like, I'm gonna punch my enemies in the face! It, uh, led me to believe that, uh, Life Fang was gonna be, like, your representative pilot. Yeah, you'll see when you go to it. Okay, so uh, they have uh, science, animals, and magic. Uh, magic. Oh, then there's uh, MGM Studios. Uh, MGM? Yeah, like, uh, you remember there's that, like, uh, opening for some cartoons where there's that lion roaring and it's like says MGM under it? Been a long time since I've seen that. Yeah, they do other things. <laughs> Uh, like, there was a Honey, I Shrunk the Kids ride, which I assume is like, you know, like, a perspective of like, ooh, you're oh, tiny. is that where Hogwarts is located? I think so. Okay, so it's like a theme themed around their specific movies. movies. Some of their specific movies. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see, it's one... That, four. Four. Mm -hmm. Uh, what was the other one? I forget at the moment. Huh. But, uh, I remember the Epcot was my favorite one, because, uh, besides science, they also had, like, a part that was all about, uh... The world of tomorrow? No, that, that actually was part of it. <laughs> but, like, uh... 
they had a part that was like uh, cultural, where like there was it split off into different like parts of the world, and like you know this part's the Morocco part of the world. It's featuring Moroccan culture. This part's the Canadian part. The Canadian part. You mean that ride that's uh, like about it's a small world? No, that that was in the MGM Studios area, and I joked about going on it to my mom. <laughs> she did not want to go on it. I think she's been on it before. Mm. Hey, well, you, yeah. did, you were sure to heal this time, yes. right? Yes. This is bad. I should have brought no way on here. Okay. We're gonna defend right off the bat. Aeon, I would totally want you to analyze right now, but I am scared. No, wait, he's gonna charge, so we need to have you analyze him and then get the hell out of here. And, wait, is the guy is are gonna be boosting it? Oh, Gavin here doesn't have enough. To, yeah. I was gonna suggest to use counter with him, but wouldn't he like die? No, because uh, counter is the same as using defend on yourself. Oh, it's and, like being ready. Yeah, and also like uh, down, I, th down. Yeah. I think you do like a bit more damage because you're specifically set up to draw enemies towards you and then hit them. It's bad, it's bad, it's bad. Hm. I could go boss the wall. I'm going it. Do it, Jimmy. I mean. Hey, on! Why do I keep doing that? <laughs> Ch uh, Li Feng, come on out. I choose you. <laughs> now oh. I block really hard. Why don't you just burst punch guy and launcher until he overheats so he can't do anything? Well, I mean, uh, she don't have enough right now. Uh, if I did, if I did, I would. <laughs> uh, Gavinger, you got a lot of things. Was that a beam weapon, you would say? Uh, it's hard to tell. That animation always looks the same. So it uh, comes down to, like, the individual weapon. I, I'm trying to remember if that particular weapon on his shoulders is a shell or not. Eee! Yeah! That was at least a very good attack. Ow. Oh. Stop it. Right. I think you damaged the pilot? That or you got a critical? Who did he just attack? He's not me. Oh, thank God. That actually wasn't so bad. Yeah, because you blocked, you were able to cut the damage down to half of your total health. <laughs> That's pretty still bad. Yeah, but hey, uh, now you can have Gavinger like uh, block those guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good point. Uh, ooh, then I can heal myself. Yes, this is good. Uh, you also heal yourself. Gavinger, you do this, because he's just going to boost himself again. No, wait, it's a boost attack. Counter zone! Counter zone! Welcome to the counter zone! But all you get is counter! <laughs> Maybe even a cross counter. Oh, what's that? You try that power charge me? Oh, he doesn't counter it? Oh, I guess that's one of its things, that uh, it can't be countered when you use it on the enemy. Oh... But yeah, you know, it drew both their attacks, and I'm Did sure. I heal? To... Huh? Did I heal? Uh, yeah, Life Fang healed. I mean, what about me? Yeah, you healed yourself. Uh, but didn't you just use your technique repair, not an actual no. item? I used an item. Oh. Well, it's only 150 for your default items, so. Yeah, it's, you know, it's not like you have the high repair. It's a goken. It's a goken. I just used to finish him off with Gatling Punch, so I'm just gonna keep blocking. Uh, Gavinger, you're not looking too good. Everyone just block. Hmm. See, so yeah, like, I liked Epcot the most, though, because there was a Japan section. And that section had, like, a lot of manga and anime and, like, <laughs> stuff. Yeah, like. Yeah, there was, like, a whole store that I walked through. Like, uh, I think there was even, like, Japanese copies of Inuyasha, and there was, like, this Shomaru figure and stuff. It was really cool. Hmm. And now I am really hurt. Switching. Hey, Tremmy, you got a lot of energy there. You bring a lot of energy to the table. You want to use it? Oh, jeez. You don't have enough for this. But you have enough for this. Hmm. Huh. Jesus. Well, uh... You die now, fool. I would suggest concentrating your fire on, like, one mobile suit if you want to try to take uh, someone down. Okay, I'll have two people attack the uh, middle station. Nice. The middle one? Yeah. Oh. Hmm. I would have suggested one of the Gaians to the oh, side. Oh no! No! I'm because glad. that. Gavinger, you better live. 
Oh, thank God, Gavinger, you live. Oh, yeah! oh, that's a surprise. I didn't think you were doing that much damage. I figured uh, that one was the one with the most HP, being front and center and all that. I took down the half its HP with that punch. Oh. Hmm. Okay, well, at least now you can uh, for sure take out another guy, and. Hmm. Well, if I could suggest strategy, I would switch Gavinger out with someone with more HP and just mm -hmm. have that person revive life thing. Good point. That's pretty much what I'm going to do. Finish it down. Just get the ability to revive people. Yes. Regenerate. Uh, regenerate? Okay. Cool. Uh, come back. There we go. Now it's all coming up to you. <laughs> Please do not immediately kill the way you can't. Okay, good. Oh. Right, I forgot Shock did that. You can't even switch your characters out when they're under Shock. Uh-oh. Bodily Fang. And <laughs> down she goes one more time. Mm -hmm. Down for the count. How dead are you right now? On a scale of 1 to 10. Pretty dead. Let's do the Zamble Cannon again! I almost never get to use it twice in a row. But now, my thing don't get any experience. Too bad for her. Should have thought about that before joining up with an evil criminal. Huh, well, you got that spray launcher. And some GAN data. Hmm? Didn't you already have, like, a crap ton of that? No. That was one of your choices you could have had when uh, choosing between the Galgoog and the Gaian. Uh. Huh. Well, if Gaians just dropped that data, you could probably farm that just uh, running around out in the wild. Because I do know you will encounter those enemies in the singular. So the fact that you're able to take on like a group of them is a testament to how stronger you've gotten. Signal flare. Could use that. Missile shield and EN pack. I see. That's why you asked me if I had it. Does so anyone know you can wield a shield? I know Aeon can't wield it. She ain't got no arms. Uh, you don't need arms to wield a shield. You don't. No, but uh, you need an arm to wield melee weapons, but the shield is just grafted right onto there. Well, it's not gonna fit in here. Yeah. But, uh... Oh my, it's very amazing. Hmm. Huh, what kind of stats did that thing give you? Crazy stats, man. Let's see, uh... 88 uh, attack? Oh wait, that's its actual attack for itself. Not that it boosts your attack by 88. Uh, is this saying it gives you two energy, or did it cost two energy? Probably costs two energy to hmm. use as an attack, basically. Eh, it raises your armor by 22. And it reduces your speed by 20! It's yep. pretty awful, I'm not using it! Okay, well, what about your spray launcher? Oh, good point. Uh... Give it to Vargas. Maybe it's better than this. Which is a drum machine gun, 120. Well, uh, it's a shoulder-mounted weapon. Oh my. Let's see, it has a 108 attack, and it costs 3 energy to use. And it also comes with some abilities? Uh, not sure about this. Wait, but, this also costs 3, but it has, like, way less attack. Yeah, but uh, that is a hand-mounted weapon. So. If you want, you can only have one shoulder-mounted weapon at a time, and you already have the beam cannon. Oh. Which well, is, this is weaker. Uh, your beam cannon is 120 for 3 energy. And this is... It, oh, wow, well, you're right. 108 for 3 energy. But, oh, it also has a chance to overheat the enemy when it's used. Really? Yeah, the down there. Yeah, I see that. I don't dislike that, but, I mean, you're only going to use it every so often anyway. Hmm. So... Nah. Uh, switch it out with Aeon? Aeon? Uh, like, uh... Her, yeah, does that Oh, well... No! Okay, then, um... Not even a thing. Uh, murder machine? Uh, oh, right. Uh, if I have three, I'm Bakunetsu Kenning. Mm. Or no, that's four. So if I have three, I'm saving up so I can Bakunetsu Ken. Ah, right. That's so, my strategy. Uh, Punch really Gavinger, hard. Not Gavinger, not Aeon, and uh, not uh, Life Iron. Can't do anything with her. Vargas is a no for you, apparently. Wait, did you say no to Vargas? I did not. I just, uh, I'm not sure, because, you know, you got, well, I mean, I can find I can get rid of this. <laughs> Which is only like 45 attack for one energy. Yeah, let's do it. Looks nice there, anyway. <laughs> It'll look even nicer on his mobile suit, which you can check out. 
I'll check it out in battle. <laughs> really? Yeah. Hmm. Should I go save? I feel like I should save now. Go ahead. Uh, you can either walk out, or you can use that SOS flare that you just got. Or I could just uh, escape and then go right back in. Right. That one thing that we established you can do. Yeah. So, like, Epcot was really cool. <laughs> uh, there was also a China section, which was like, it was like perfect, it was a perfect a afternoon when we went to that. <laughs> because we went to like this little tea shop, and we drank some tea, and we like looked out, and it was like raining, and there was like these like pretty trees out there near a pond. And, like a, a bunch of tiny little frogs jumping everywhere. It was very atmospheric. Wow, that sounds nice. Yeah, I looked out the window all like, uh, reflectively and stuff. Mm -hmm. Trying to look reflectively. Ah. Purposely looking like I was looking cool. You feel like people's eyes are drawn to you. Yeah. You Your charisma it. has grown, gone up a little. Mm. <laughs> mm. I hope I saved on the right one there. Uh, let's see. Okay, there's two oh no's, two of you. Okay, we good. <laughs> oh, goodness, this place. It's eating away at my soul. Yeah. Should I, like, go back? Heal up my TP? I don't like this place. Mm. Well, uh, it it's, hurts uh, me. It's up to you. I mean, the only place you can go back to is that town, and you'd have to stay at the end. At the end? Yeah. <laughs> because for some reason, you can't just quick travel to Marie's. Hey, guys, I wish I could run from you, but I can't. Code and all. Mm. Claw beam? You got a claw? Why did I give you a claw? Why does everyone here have claws? Whatever, y'all all die. Jeez, almost no damage done to you. You're tough. Not tough enough, Pinecone. I hate your shock saber. I hate it. I hate it so much. <laughs> oh, not gonna give Vargas a try. Comes in with three. Perfectly ready to use it. Here you go, buddy. Nice. Also nice. Those really look like they should be shooting something that's not bullets. <laughs> Looks like they should be shooting fire or something. Huh. They look hey. really nice. I kind of want them on my mobile suit now. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, GM Command Armor L. And you got a Hizak shield. A Hizak shield? A Hizak shield. Huh. Shouldn't my Isaac already have that? Well, uh, no. Some things you have to kind of get off of enemies. I, uh, that's probably for the opposite shoulder that you don't have a shield uh, for the Isaac for. Uh, okay, well, you got two mobile suit parts. That, uh, they may or may not be beneficial. Can't equip the armor right now anyway. Nah, you'd have to go back to town. Yep. Like, hey, you were considering going to town anyways, weren't you? Did I just touch it? I don't know. Does this look like I touched it? That looks pretty important. Yeah, you touched it. I don't see you running into like just two guy and <laughs> like that. That otherwise. doesn't seem logical. <laughs> I mean, so far, like in this area, they've been treating the guy as special stuff. I'm shipping them. The, the way they're paired right here, it's too good. Hmm. I'm shipping them. I don't know why, but I'm shipping them. Also, Bakunetsu King! <laughs> well, I guess in some sense that a guy in kind of looks like a pointy nipple, so it's only appropriate that there's two of them. Mm. Don't you do that, yeah! A stabby! For the love's sake, just die! For all that's holy, it doesn't want go down! <laughs> How fast are you? I can't see their speed, can I? No, uh, I would switch out Tremmy and Vargas. Nah, Tremmy's gonna kill him. Maybe. Yeah, you know, like, I do have, like, a high respect for Tremmy, that she can do a lot of stuff, but... Yeah. That could've gone horribly. <laughs> yeah, that could've. Well, one person would've died. Oh! Tremmy learned Mega Fire! And Gavage learned High Bomber! Ah. Good for him. Good for him. He didn't do anything this fight, but good for him. <laughs> hey guys, I think I learned a new technique. How, uh, is that what you were doing back there? 
These enemies are hardly- These are your own guys! You are the good one! Now tell me, what are you, what are you doing this in a gun cannon? What are you talking about? Name of the mobile suit you're piloting. It isn't exactly ideal for close combat. I'll have you know this mobile suit is a Gundam. An extremely powerful close combat prototype. I've seen a Gundam and it didn't look like that. Would you? Oh wow, she's me. <laughs> I just call them all Gundams. But I know better. Yeah, I, I've seen a Gundam. I've been an idiot. I thought it, they were all called the Gundam. I don't know anyone who's skilled enough to use a gun cannon in melee combat. So my training paid off. Yes, you're so scary in close range combat, you can use a crappy mobile suit. You can, well, uh, if you'll pause there for a moment, she's able to use a more or less mid to long range mobile suit exclusively as close range combat material. That is a simple. Yeah. When did you have that? And why were you holding it out on me this whole time? <laughs> Anyways, it's time for us to break there. Okay. See you next time, everyone. See ya.